Hi y'all, it's me. Did you miss me? It's Rain here with another installment to my wedding vlog series. I'm still over here plucking away and I hope that you all are holding up during this shelter in place situation. And my heart goes out to those of you event planners who had to cancel events and to all of you beautiful brides who may have had to move your date. God knows and it will still be a special event whenever you have it. Now, if you've been following my page and you are familiar with the charters that I have already made, in fact, it was one of my most popular videos called the Charter Smackdown. So I will make sure that I attach that video to the end of this one in case you missed it. I also did a quick update video when the plates that I was initially using went out of stock. I showed you how to use another plate to create the same look. I cannot believe I am back with another charger video. I don't even know what I'm thinking right now. I literally just finished 300, 300, and I get a novel idea to do another set of chargers for my bridal party. But I decided that I wanted something to match the chargers that I'm gonna be using for our sweetheart table. So here's a quick glance at the one that I chose for our sweetheart table. And my decision was to do something pretty close to this, but with my own spin on it. So that is what this tutorial is all about. Stay tuned, cause you know what's coming up right now. So for this project, you need a few simple things. This charger came actually from Dollar Tree and you don't actually have to design these. They look really pretty just as the silver. Those are new in their store. We've got these pearls that we're gonna use around the edging and we've got this bling wrap, the flowers. You have seen this before. You can get this on Amazon, eBay, pretty much everywhere, flea market. We're gonna be using that for the design. And what was really cool is we got these mirrors from Amazon, these come 10 in a pack. I cannot think of what I paid for them off the top, but I know it was less than $20 and you get 10 and look how perfectly they fit right in the center. That is an eight inch mirror. So if you cannot find it on Amazon, you can definitely find them at Hobby Lobby. They do go on sale at Hobby Lobby half off every other week. And then I'm actually just gonna use my fav favorite Gorilla hot glue sticks for this and a high temp construction level glue gun to put all of this together. Um, I might be using something a little stronger to adhere the mirror to the plate. If I do, you'll see that in the tutorial. All right, let's get busy. Elevate to music or talk you through. I think I'll talk you through, my dears. All right, so what I'm doing is just laying a thin strip of hot glue and then running the pearls along it. Now, you want to be very careful because this is a construction grade hot glue gun and it gets really hot. And I do mean hot. I have so many scalds and burns from hot glue dripping on my skin. So if you're not used to this, you may want to use some gloves for beginners. Don't do what I'm doing, do what I'm telling you, all right? Now, you want to make sure that you get those circles as even as possible if you don't get it evenly the first time that's okay pull it on up because what I did see is even with the hottest glue and the strongest glue when I pulled it back up it simply peeled right off and it did not strip or, or uh, cut the paint in the plate which is absolutely wonderful this is a plastic metallic plate so you don't have to worry about that now if it doesn't happen like that for you I don't know what to tell you because I didn't have no problem pulling it up but you want to just run that as evenly as possible when you're doing that inner circle make sure to stay on the outside edge because you have to lay that mirror and if you put the pearls too far in you're gonna have a hard time doing that ask me how I know so now to lay these flowers is a lot easier than it is with the regular bling because they're not as thin 
So all you want to do is run a nice little thin strip of glue and then run those flowers along the inside. Now I'm doing two rows. You can definitely cut these flowers individually if you want to fill that center up a little more than I'm doing here. For me, that wasn't necessary, but it is an option. So just in case you want to see it a little more full, that is something that you can do. This is my second layer here. And I pretty much like uh, the way that it filled up the plate. I don't mind the gapping. I wasn't going for full coverage here. Now with this mirror, you want to be careful because that glue does get really hot. And if your glue is hot, you don't want to crack the mirror. You don't need as much glue as I'm putting here. I don't know, I just went a little bit glue crazy, but when I turned it over and went to press it into the center of the plate, a perfect fit by the way, you wanna be careful because you do feel that heat through the glass and you don't wanna crack it, all right? So don't go overboard with the glue. This is why you see me gently pressing here and not pressing too hard because I don't want to crack it. And here is the finished product. And I must say, I love the way it came out. Now, the only thing I did not show you, if you can see it, is I went along the inside where that mirror is laying and I laid one more strip of that flowered bling. I didn't leave that out to trick you, I just, Forgot, it was a last minute decision, all right? Okay, all right. Now, with that said, I like the way it filled out. It's gonna be really, really pretty on the table. You wanna store these very carefully because you might end up uh, cracking it if you don't. So, you know, when I store these, I usually wrap them in bubble wrap one by one. I don't have a whole lot, I only have 20, so that works out for me. But it has some phenomenal sparkle under the lighting, and this is gonna be stunning on the tables. I cannot wait to see how these look on the head table. You know, I always tell you that the work of our hands are blessed. Why? Because they are anything you put out into the atmosphere can return unto you 50, 60, and 1,000 fold. If you have those creative ideas, get them out there, y'all, because somebody is waiting on you. If you make these charges, please tag me. I would love to see your work and your inspiration. And remember, don't let Rona get you down. Y'all be safe out here. Don't mind me. I'm just blinging and blinging in my mask. <laughs> I had to do it. I love y'all. And until next tutorial, I want you to be blessed. Don't keep me a secret. If I'm a blessing to you or an inspiration, share me with a friend. Until next time, love ya.